Lomachenko's trainer is his father, Anatoly Lomachenko. The man who okay, has taught him boxing and been with him, of course, his whole life. Alperio Pino's trainer is Bobby Balaver, who works out of Hawaii, and you're going to see him in the next fight, as he's also the trainer to the Thai fighter who's the opponent for Zhao Ximing, Juan Pichet Won Song Shaichin. And we're now joined at ringside by our expert commentator, Roy Jones, coming off of Jesse Vargas's victory in his first big showing as a trainer. And I'm sure we're going to see more. Congratulations, Roy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Excellent performance by Vargas. And now we uh, pick up round two of Vasily Lomachenko against Sean Latarn, Alperio Pino. Sean Latarn? Sean Latarn, Alperio Pino. Sean Latarn. Yep. You can call him Sean. I'm going to call him Sean Latarn. <laughs> <laughs> Aperio Pena landed a couple of left hooks to the body in the first round. That's his money punch. But generally speaking, it was another display of Lomachenko's footwork, hand skills, general all-around aptitude for the game. He's a great boxer, even at this very early stage of his career, Roy. Yeah, you can't really call it an early stage of his career. You call it the early stage of his American professional career. But it's not really the early stage of his career. Anytime you got 400 amateur fights, there's no such thing as early in your career. Try this, 400 amateur fights, and one only loss, lost one. Exactly. That, and then he beats the guy twice <laughs> in rematches. So there's no way this is considered early in your career. It's early in your American professional career, but that's about it. With two Olympic gold medals, <laughs> And one award to be for being the best fighter in the Olympic Games. I mean, this guy is as sensational an amateur background as anyone who's ever well, lived. There's enough Olympic and World Championship hardware in the building here tonight to sink a Chinese junk. And by the way, <laughs> that's not a bar, but the Chinese. That's a name for a boat. But when you consider two World Championships and two gold medals for Lomachenko, two gold medals and a bronze medal and two world championship golds and a silver medal for Zhou Ximing. And then, of course, the gold medal that Roy Jones was not given at Seoul in 1988. That's a lot of medal. That's a whole lot of medals. Roy, very few fighters can throw that right hook the way Lomachenko just did, or even a left hook, so quickly with accuracy and power as soon as he sees the opening. Yeah, what I like about what Lomachenko is doing right now is he's throwing pity pat punches to set up the real punches, meaning he's not putting all of his power on every shot. If you do that, that enables you to set up the big shots and take full advantage like that when he does see a clean shot. And while he's already moving, he has potential energy, so it's much easier to duck and dodge like that out of that movement. He counters so quick. His counter punches arrive so fast that sometimes they look like leads. And it looks as though he's dictating the action when in fact he's counterpunching.